Hello from Bryson City. Time for another free art lesson. Today we're going to be doing mixed media. Um, I have a couple different things already laid out for us to look at, uh, including acrylic paint, um, oil pastels, some chalk. I also have markers and um, assortment of different things to draw with. And I also have the collage that we did last week. That'll be really good, a uh, good starting place for us to, uh, to, to use. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to flip the camera around here and you can see what I got laid out. There we go. So here's the pastels that I talked about. These are just regular chalk pastels. These are the oil pastels. I'm going to be using some water-based media, so these will be kind of... First and see, see what happens. Here's our collage that we did last week. This was the example I did. As you can see, there's already some stuff going on. You know, besides paper collage, I've drawn in. So it's kind of already in the mixed media category. And I've got some acrylic paint. Some strange colors here. We'll see what happens with those. So to get started, I'm going to start on this one first so it can dry while we work on this, this one. So let me get a brush. Put some water. I think I'm going to just do some, uh, some shapes. Do something a little bit more on the level of abstract. Now for the green. Put another one up here. And while we're at it, let's put one more down here in the corner. Go to a smaller brush. Get this yellow. Again, we'll just draw some pretty, pretty basic stuff just to get the paint on here so it can dry. All right, we're going to let this one dry. Slide that back there. So now on this one, I'm going to go ahead and start with some of these oil pastels. So like I said, what makes this mixed media is, again, we've cut out and glued paper on here onto this board. Uh, but then we've drawn on it also with a, with a marker. So right now it is watercolor, paper, marker. So it's already you know, in the gel pen. Um, so it's already mixed media in that regard, but I think there's some more stuff we could do this to make it a little bit more interesting. So let's start down here. Just using a white oil pastel and kind of get rid of this um, bridge in the background here in this one section. Take that over to this part as well. So I'll soften this, this little box or whatever that these these people here are sitting on. Okay. And then let's come in with some this in green.
like that, yeah? Alright. Um, maybe up here in the sky, this marker and this blue whoop, aren't uh, exactly the best. Let's use this oil pastel. And put in a little bit better sky. And color over some of these other forms and shapes too. Maybe a little bit over here as well. Carried across the the back there. There we go, the oil pastel. And we use this couple of different green. We'll use another green over here. And bring that green over to here. The green that we were just using. Got it all blended in there. <clears throat> so I'm going to just take my finger, rub this a little bit, this oil pastel, make sure I don't have any large pieces sticking up anywhere. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of white paint over here in the acrylic. So I'm going to mix this white paint and some water. Get it, um, get it very runny, like a whitewash. And then I'm going to come through with that. Let's go right through here like this. Some up here for this cloud. That's gel uh, pen that I'm painting over, so it may actually, with the water, reactivate and uh, blend in a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe another cloud or two up here. Same thing here. A little whitewash on these watercolor parts. Courthouse here. All right. As you can see, as it's drying over here, where we put in the um, oil pastel, the oil pastel is still coming through pretty good. It's kind of wiped out the picture that was behind it, which is all right. So we've got another color here. Kind of a blue gray. I'll do the same thing with it. I'm gonna add a little water to it. Work around our guy on the kayak and then also all the way over to here. across this watercolor. There we go. Just a little bit. 
tie it in, make it a little bit more uniform. What's really nice is as it's drying on this tissue paper, you can kind of still see the bridge a little bit, kind of like this ghost image. All right. We're going to go back to this one now. It looks like still parts of it are somewhat dry, somewhat wet. pretty stiff brush here, dry stiff brush. So I'm just going to take it, whatever's wet, we'll get streaked. And then we'll go the opposite way here. Finish drying it out. A little bit of paint on there. Not much to worry about. Alright, so in this one I'm going to use these uh, pastels here. Start off with this blue, maybe get a little bit of this red. Highlight that a little bit better. And All right, so I'm going to go back my washed out blue paint that I had. I'm going to pick up some of that. Come through here. And if I get some of the pastel, that's okay. We'll get it, blend it, let it move in with the paint. have all sorts of fun with this. You can just go through whatever colors you want to try. And this will be one of those projects that you can work on it and if you don't like it you can work on it some more later nothing that has to be done quickly it can take a long time to do so I've got that white matter of fact before I do that let me add some more water to it with that white and I'm just going to here, right into the pastel. As you can see, it's just kind of picking it up, blending it, moving it.
All right. So, very interesting. A little different. We'll see what happens. Um, let's go back to this now and check and see if have this one. This one's drying up pretty good. I think it's always good to have a couple things going at the same time. That way you can uh, work on whatever you want to work on. Let's see here. kayak really stand out and then there's this tree here this tree needs to be a little different it's a pretty good start Something a little different. Still, you know, there's so much potential of all these other things we can do. And then, we'll grab out the bag of pins and markers here. Got a red, a red Sharpie. there. Let's try this, um, so the oil pastel, some of this chalk pastel up here in the sky. There we go. So added a whole lot of color to that. Changed it up quite a bit. And then I'm going to keep working on this one back here. And see what kind of strange thing. I'm already seeing something. And I think it needs to go this way. So this way for you guys. Matter of fact, I could do it. So. It's 
funny how you make stuff and then you start seeing other things in it after you get through making it. So I'll keep working on that. I see a train. It might not be. <laughs> might need a little bit more work. A whole lot more work. <laughs> but again, it's all just up to you. It's up to your imagination. Whatever it is you'd like to see and draw. And again, we can paint on this some more. We can do some other stuff to this. So um, totally totally up to you let me prop this up here move this one back over here so again totally up to you on what you'd like to paint and draw um, if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask those in the comments below also um, like to see whatever you're working on please post those in the comments I'd love to see y'all's work um, until next time, be creative, have fun, stay safe.